chai in India is made in these big pots. It's all brewed together and that's where you get that, that depth of flavor. And so recreating that process in New York City was something that we spent a lot of time on. First, you gotta get your ingredients. So I have my Assam black tea right here. And this is a special kind of tea that we use for our chai called CTC. After you get your tea, next thing you want is your spices. Spice mix can differ to whatever you really like, but in KCC, ginger and cardamom are the main spices that we use. To get your ginger at home, you can easily just mince up like a two inch piece of ginger, but we obviously uh, blend fresh ginger. And lastly, you have your spice mix. This smells amazing. All you need to do is ground up some cardamom, a little bit of cinnamon, black pepper, cloves. So chai traditionally is not an overtly sweet syrup-based concoction. It's really something that has a, a deep flavor profile due to the spices and the combination of the milk and all those things interacting together. The next step is gonna be boiling milk and water. There's no consensus on what your ratio to milk to water is gonna be. You can use a one-to-one -to, -one to start off with and then adjust it based on your taste from there. So one cup water, one cup milk, we're gonna bring it to a boil. Milk's starting to boil a little bit. Gonna go ahead and put in my ginger. Now for such a small quantity, I think just one teaspoon of this ginger puree should work. And next is gonna go in the tea and spice. We'll start off with the spice. So great thing about South Asian cuisine is that we really don't measure anything. Asking my mom about recipes is a nightmare because she literally doesn't measure anything. And you just have to look at what she's doing and figure it out from the feel. So I'm giving you sort of goal markers uh, to how much to put in here, but again, feel it out for yourself and be like a real South Asian and don't measure anything. So now I've got a nice rolling boil as you can see. My spices are all mixing in and it smells Pretty incredible. Next is gonna go in the black tea. Now, for such a small pot, this tea is very strong. So I'm gonna start off with a teaspoon and see what the color is like and take it from there. Maybe, maybe two. And we're gonna let this boil for about three to five minutes. You'll start noticing the color of the tea kind of change and you'll get that perfect sort of brown, tannish chai color that we all know and love. In India, the roadside chai is piping hot and they put it in the, the earthen cups and you can barely sort of hold on to it and your fingers are sort of burning by the end of it and that's part of the experience. But the high heat is really important because it helps the tea release all its flavor. Now I'm gonna shut the heat off and the tea is just about done. We always add sugar at the end. About four. And get in that perfect color. It's not too light, not too dark. If it's too dark, we call it kvara. It means it's too strong. Some people really like this shot, kvara. And all I'm gonna do is strain it into two cups. Get a fine mesh strainer. Go ahead and strain it carefully. What is chai if you don't have someone to share it with? 